Welcome to another episode of Rusted Rides. Today we are going over how we apply single stage paint and what products we normally use to do it. If we breeze over something or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we will do our best to get back to you. Now, let's get into it. First up, let's get the lights, mirrors, and door handles stripped off the truck for a more professional seamless paint job. The grill is also being replaced, so it has to go too. We need to repair a bunch of rust and rot on this truck, but the one fender isn't worth saving. Next, wheel arches on the box were cut out and patches were welded back in. Taking care not to heat up and warp the metal, we jump along the patch and repeat that for a few laps until the weld is complete. This should be illegal. I tell you, I get some tired of people putting spray foam in rocker cab corners. Oh, that's unreal. As you just saw, the cab corners were awful. So again, patch panels were welded in place. The rocker panels also needed some replacing, and when welding in the bottom seam, Cam clamped and drilled through the seam and filled the drill hole with a weld. This is a method that can be used in place of a spot welder. Next was smoothing everything out with a few rounds of body fill and sanding. Then wiping the car down with rags and a product called Final Wipe to remove any leftover contamination. Primer was sprayed on exposed metal and areas that got body fill. And now we get to move on to the good part, paint. All right, the truck is prepped and ready to be painted, but Cam, we've had a lot of comments in other videos about how we do certain paint jobs, and so I figured uh, maybe you want to get into more depth about what we're doing today. Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, just a disclaimer, I'm not technically a professional I'm actually a bricklayer so everything you see this is just these jobs are things I do for friends and family that don't want to go spend ten to twenty thousand dollars on a paint job and this is my buddy's beat up old work truck so it's not show quality or anything it's gonna get all beat up again but he's getting in a lot of trouble with MTOs and cops bugging him because it was you know you've seen it it was hideous so he said if you're doing this at home you know, you start with your, all you saw it, the metal repair. We, I ended up having to put new doors on this side because 
if you look at this one here, there was there's just no save in this one. It was bad. Yeah, that no, I told bad. him, I said, forget it. I started grinding at it and there's there's no way. So this is a cheaper single stage paint job. Did all the body work, covered it all in sealer primer. The whole truck has been blocked out with 400 grit. So we've had questions uh, already before about um, why we don't sometimes prime the entire vehicle. Well, the single stage covers so well, like the only spots that you really need to primer is like if the factory paint isn't in bad shape and it, you know, you, you sand it down with 400 and then you just cover over where you've done body work, bare metal, because you want to fill in the sanding scratches, little pits, but you also, it won't fill in all, like primer won't fill in all the sanding scratches and all the pinholes. It, you know, you got to go around with a little bit of glazed putty, make sure you got all that. So, let's I'll show you what we're using today. Yeah, and my go-to is Nace, and this is urethane base. And it actually, I've been using this for over 10 years, and it is a good long lasting. I don't, wouldn't say it's very price friendly, but you know, compared to like a lot of paints out there, it's not terrible. So how much do you think it is? How much is it to do this truck with the materials that you bought for it? Yeah, it's not the most cost efficient. It was, this was $640 after tax for the whole kit. Okay. We got to remember like four years ago, you could, this was like, it was less than 400 bucks. So it's just like the price of everything. The price of everything has doubled in the last couple of years. So it is what it and is. And that's just for that stuff. That's not including paper and masking tape and, and mixing cups and stuff like that. Oh, mixing cups are cheap. People are asking, how, have been asking how you mix the paint. So according to the technical data sheet, you want four parts paint, two part reducer, one part hardener. And on a mixing container, say you don't want to mix too much, you bring the paint to the three, and then the reducer, and then the hardener, and that gives you your proper ratio. Uh, with the reducer, I give it a little touch more just so it flows out a little bit better. But I guess depending on how you feel, you can do what you want. And so, and then for the gun, you, uh, I don't know, tip size, pressure, all that stuff, like... Oh, I can give you a rundown on... This is the one I've been using. This is not a fancy gun. This, this was $160 at Princess Auto. And you want to get a gun with a 1.3 tip. Okay. We'll give you, you don't want to go, you know, spend the extra however much if you care about the job and go with a 1.3 get a regulator on the gun not on the compressor with a water separator and regulate it at 35 psi and then i turn the flow down well i mean all guns are different but i usually i turn it way down until i get the desired flow you want a fine mist coming out and atomized properly you don't want blotchy spray coming out of the gun so and then you turn it up as you need to to get like as so you yeah, turn I mean, down to start and then you up yeah if it's going on too light then turn the flow up if it's going on spattery and too heavy you just turn the flow down so we'll bring it to i don't want too much right off the hop yeah reducer all right so we brought the paint to two and then you come over to the reducer side right there and now for the activator i think these are like 140 dollars now and you bring that to the two stir it up and it's ready to spray nice so 35 on the flow down just give it a little test spray on here See how nicely, it's an even mist. It's not blocky. Cool.
All right. I like it. Yeah, man. Looks like it's done with base clear almost. So it's two coats of single stage? I did three. Oh, okay. He's, I know he's going to be beaten on it, so I did three. It nice. didn't, I, I didn't need the extra third coat, but, you know, I bought lots of paint. So. Yeah. Now, it didn't fix every single little dent because it's going to get all beat up again. We were just mostly concerned about getting the rust cut out of it, mm -hmm. making it all clean in one color. So when he's driving by with his trailer on, he's not going to get busted by MTOs, not busted by cops, just wanting to bug him because his truck looks awful. <laughs> Um, it definitely doesn't look awful now. Like this is gonna look nice. Like a Dairy Queen dip cone, but a truck. Okay, well that uh, that wraps it up for today. And unfortunately he's got new, he's got a sport grill coming for it, all new door handles, mirrors. This video was more just a how to get a really nice paint job out of single stage. So I think it looks maybe, really good. Maybe before, if this, these things show up before he's done editing, then you will see the finished product, but uh, yeah, there it is. All right. I am going to this sucker. Uh, we'll see you next week with another video. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah, thank you. Those parts did not show up in time, but we did put the old stuff on just so you could see the truck fully assembled. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next Friday.